The Activision Blizzard reckoning continues, ladies and gentlemen, as the DFEH continues to pursue their lawsuit against a company that has perpetually enabled abuse, misconduct, discrimination, harassment, and it is a situation that's continuing to escalate with Activision Blizzard continuing to face protests from government officials, from communities and employees in particular who've organized walkouts and strikes and are working behind the scenes and organizing to fight back and uh, ensure that Activision Blizzard meets their demands. Media has been reporting everything that they've been relayed by employees who've had firsthand experience with the utterly disgusting culture that Bobby Kotick, CEO of Activision, and all of the leaders of the company alongside Blizzard have enabled. All Blizzard's done is offer empty platitudes, empty sympathies, but they certainly still haven't done enough to meet the demands of employees. It's abundantly clear that executives' aim is to protect the company first and foremost. It is all about self-preservation, saying what they're saying so that they can be legally above ground and pretend like they actually care about any of this. And there's further indication of that with the latest report that Activision Blizzard is intentionally destroying evidence in order to hide, well, something from the DFEH, specifically the HR department, one of the most criticized departments, as HR are responsible for enabling and shielding abusers while ignoring victims or encouraging them to not oust their higher-ups for their misbehaviors. It's hardly surprising that there's likely plenty of evidence and documents within HR that could implicate Activision Blizzard in the DFEH's lawsuit that many employees have come out to corroborate. The DFEH has gotten wind of Activision Blizzard's nefarious activities with trying to bury evidence, and so they've expanded their lawsuit against Activision Blizzard. California has expanded its anti-discrimination lawsuit against Activision Blizzard, adding temporary workers to the female full-time employees employees of whom it is suing on behalf. So beyond discrimination and harassment against women, the lawsuit is now also starting to cover temporary workers like contract workers who are also widely known to be mistreated within Activision and Blizzard. Now, the really grave bit is that the DFEH also alleges that the game maker has interfered with its investigation, which is causing the DFEH to pursue this case even more fervently. According to Axios' sources, Activision Blizzard has also been ensuring that employees don't speak out to the DFEH amidst their investigation. The DFEH also says Activision Blizzard has stimmied its efforts through NDAs, requiring employees to speak with the company ahead of contacting the DFEH and its involvement with Wilmer Hale. Wilmer Hale, you may recall, was mentioned in Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick's letter to employees and to the public, where he said that I've asked the law firm Wilmer Hale to conduct a review of our policies and procedures to ensure that we have and maintain best practices to promote a respectful and inclusive workplace. This work will begin immediately. The Wilmer Hale team will be led by Stephanie Avakian, who is a member of the management team at Wilmer Hale and was most recently the director of the United States Securities and Exchange Commission's Division of Enforcement. It didn't take long for the internet to discover that Wilmer Hale is, in fact, a union-busting firm that has a proven track record of always defending the corporations over the human lives and employees. This was a choice unanimously made by Bobby Kotick and the executives without conversing and discussing with the victims in any way, shape, or form. And the employees, therefore, spoke out against this uh, hiring and completely denounced Bobby Kotick's decision to hire this firm that has a conflict of interest because it has relationships with Activision executives like Fran Townsend, but beyond that, the track record speaks for itself, and it's entirely clear why Activision specifically chose Wilmer Hale, a firm that will be on the side of the corporation and not the employees, and ensure that employees are kept at bay, but disguised as wanting to help employees and ensure that their voices are heard and all that bullshit. Even investors called out Activision Blizzard for the hiring of Wilmer Hale, calling it an inadequate response, as reported here by Axios back in August 10th. The specific statement provided by the SOC Investment Group was, quote, the announced review by Wilmer Hale is deficient in a number of ways. This firm has a sterling reputation as a defender of the wealthy and connected, but it has no track record of uncovering wrongdoing. The lead investigator 
does not have in-depth experience investigating workplace harassment and abuse, and the scope of the investigation fails to address the full range of equity issues Mr. Kotick acknowledges. Nailed on the head. And with this latest article reporting on Activision Blizzard destroying evidence, ensuring that employees are silenced, you can see just how far they're willing to go to bury the issues within the company under the rug to save face, to save the bottom line. Any sympathies that have been expressed for victims and employees who've had to suffer through this work environment is practically meaningless at this point. But yeah, by silencing their employees, by making them sign these NDAs, Activision Blizzard, according to the lawsuit, the expanded lawsuit, is now directly interfering with the DFEH's ability to investigate, prosecute, and remedy workplace discrimination and harassment violations on behalf of employees and contingent or temporary workers. Beyond silencing their employees, they're straight up just destroying physical evidence. The expanded lawsuit alleges in part that documents related to investigations and complaints were shredded by human resource personnel in violation of what it asserts is the company's legal obligation to retain them pending the investigation. This is straight up just illegal, what Activision Blizzard is doing here. And you know, it's funny how when this whole fiasco started, Activision Blizzard was adamant about the fact that they take every allegation seriously and investigate them all, that the facts presented by the DFVH are distorted, in many cases false descriptions of Blizzard's past, which was swiftly disproven by the wave of former and current employees who have spoken out to corroborate what's reported in the lawsuit. This is the company insisting that amidst all this, every voice matters, and that they'll do everything in their power to cooperate with employees and ensure that they are a part of a safe work environment from here on out. And yet for a company that claims they have nothing to hide, that they are not culpable in any way, shape, or form, for a company that's not taking accountability and that claims every voice matters and has these platitudes to offer, they sure seem desperate to erase evidence, to erase documents. They sure seem in a hurry to hide things from law enforcement, potentially risking another legal violation. If they truly have nothing to hide, why interfere so much with this investigation? Why behave so much like criminals? Now, a spokesperson for Activision Blizzard did respond to the accusation by saying, quote, the company has complied with every proper request in support of its review, even as we had been implementing reforms to ensure our workplaces are welcome and safe for every employee. With regards to claims that we have destroyed information by shredding documents, those claims are not true. We took appropriate steps to preserve information relevant to the DFEH investigation. Coming from the same company who already tried to discredit the DFEH by saying that the facts that they've presented are distorted and out of context before employees came out to corroborate the DFEH, there is a track record of the DFEH being a lot more honest than Activision Blizzard has been amidst all this. So suffice to say that I don't trust anything coming out of the words of any Activision Blizzard spokesperson or executive unless it's from the mouth of employees who have first-hand experience with the abusive work environment. You know, at this point, it's all just noise. It's all irrelevant noise. Activision Blizzard has proven distrustful throughout this entire process. I highly doubt that there's any shred of truth to them claiming that the DFEH is lying when they're saying that they shredded documents and destroyed evidence. That's what a corporation would be doing at this stage, especially when they know that they're in real trouble and that there's actual evidence linking them to that trouble that could give the opposing side ammunition. Next up, we have provided the DFEH with clear evidence that we do not have gender pay or promotion disparities. Our senior leadership is increasingly diverse with a growing number of women in key leadership roles across the company. Then why are employees saying otherwise? Why is it that not that long ago, employees decided to disclose their salaries on a spreadsheet and spread that around so people could see that disparity in pay as revolt. Why is it being reported that not much has changed about that salary disparity despite the employees' protests and revolt? Because this right here is a freaking line. Whatever evidence Activision Blizzard did present was likely very selective, but employees are continuing to say that pay disparity is still a thing, and I'm more inclined to listen to the employees who have been corroborating the DFEH's report and who've actually suffered through this and who have been corroborating each other and have been truthful, unlike Activision Blizzard these past few days. Here's a more extensive response that Eurogamer relayed in an updated article. Throughout our engagement with the DFEH, State of California's Department of 
uh, fair employment and housing. We have complied with every proper request in support of its review, even as we had been implementing reforms to ensure our workplaces are welcome and safe for every employee. Those changes continue today and include several high-level personnel changes. Oh, good for you. You fired Jay Allen Brack, the president of Blizzard, who didn't have that much power anyway. Meanwhile, Bobby Kotick, Fran Townsend, who sent out that awful email to employees and share those awful sentiments and the people truly responsible for letting their company run the way it has they're still not facing any consequences they have yet to apologize they've yet to take any accountability they're still safe high level personnel changes isn't the right way to put it it's more like activision blizzard let a few scapegoats take the fall while pretending that now everything's a-okay it isn't. Far from it. Not even close. Then we have revamped hiring and recruiting practices requiring diverse interview panels, greater transparency on pay equity, expanded and improved training and investigative capabilities for human resource and compliance staff. Human resource? You mean the, the same department that has been ignoring victims and has been protecting the abusers? and enabling them that same human resource created investigation teams outside of business units to support greater independence restructured divisions to support greater accountability enhanced review processes to include evaluation of managers by employees clear boundaries on workplace behavior with a zero tolerance approach that's funny activision blizzard allegedly always had a zero tolerance policy but they've tolerated quite the number of horrifying incidents throughout the many many years notice how incredibly vague all of these bullet points sound meanwhile employees are saying that they've sent their list of demands to activision blizzard executives and they've yet to release a statement addressing any of their demands employees straight up responded to bobby kotick's letter by saying hey you've got all of these initiatives these are your initiatives they aren't ours where are our initiatives when are you going to implement those instead of pretending like you actually care about being proactive and working with employees when you're not communicating with the employees. Activision Blizzard's statement concludes with more bullshit. We strive to be a company that recognizes and celebrates the diverse talents and perspectives that lead to the creation of great, globally appealing entertainment. We have provided the DFEH with clear evidence that we do not have gender pay or promotion disparities. Our senior leadership is increasingly diverse, with a growing number of women in key leadership roles across the company. We share the DFEH's goal of a safe, inclusive workplace that rewards employees equitably and are committed to setting an example that others can follow, says the company that's destroying the evidence that the DFEH needs to use to achieve their goal of investigating what's been going on with an Activision Blizzard and to ensure that the right people face the right consequences. It is laughable that Activision Blizzard is even attempting to claim that their goals align with the DFEHs when for Activision Blizzard throughout this past month, it's just been about trying to discredit the DFEH, discredit the employees, trying to seem proactive, but not ultimately doing things that help employees, that make them feel like they're being listened to for once, not actually taking their demands seriously, hiring freaking Wilmerhale, a union-busting firm, continuously engaging in actions where they blatantly just don't give a shit about anything else but protecting the company's name and the executive's and protecting the money, the bottom line, that's all this is. This is how a criminal behaves, and that's what Activision Blizzard is. The executives, in particular, the leaders, the managers, HR, the senior devs who abuse their powers, they are straight up criminals. This company deserves to be rocked by the DFEH lawsuit, and it's great to see that the DFEH is taking this as seriously as they should be. Activision Blizzard has gotten away with too much. You can add destruction of evidence on top of that list. The DFEH is well aware of how Activision Blizzard has been conducting itself since the lawsuit was issued. This destruction of evidence is only going to give the DFEH hopefully more ammo to work with to bust this thing wide open and hopefully then we can finally start to overhaul the company for a brighter future that's one man's take at least let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are and to be further updated on all things gaming news reviews and discussions stay tuned right here on young yeah i'll see you guys next time young out